Hello, today I'm going to show you how to uh, build a web page for the, for the assignment for week six in the class. And so what this is going to be, uh, I'm going to go through it uh, pretty quick, but you should be able to, you know, back up the video, pause it, uh, catch up, and then, uh, then be able to complete the assignment, hopefully. Uh, as you go. So if there if there's any questions, always refer when you do any of the the assignments, always refer to the written instructions that are on Blackboard as well. That will help you. If if I didn't include something in the video, it's going to be in the written instructions. All of the assignment requirements that I grade on are in the written instructions, not necessarily on the video. So to begin with, what we're going to do, so here I am uh, on my uh, on my desktop we're gonna go ahead and add a folder here okay and so I'm gonna go right click new folder I'm gonna name this folder uh, web page okay so you're just gonna have to have a folder what's gonna happen is you're gonna put all of your all the stuff you create for your web page into this folder. It, it's really important that it all has to be in there to work. So when I grade yours, actually I'm going to throw uh, all of the documents give me into one folder and then I can open up the web page and it'll work. So as you, you need this folder here. Okay, so what we're going to do as well is uh, go ahead and right click again and go new and we're going to go to text document. Okay. Okay, and so this is a new text document. I'm going to name this text document uh, index. Okay. And I'm going to put that text document into my web page folder. All right. And uh, so I open my web page folder and I see my index document is in there. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And that opens in Notepad. Notepad is accessible through your start menu. Uh, in the accessories okay that's how that's how notepad is available Okay, now that we have our text document our index uh, text document into the web page folder we need to gather a couple more things as we get started so you can do this right up front if you would like <clears throat> one of the things that you need to gather uh, is gonna be uh, the code for the color that you want your background to be Okay, so there's websites. This particular website is on, ha, has a link on the uh, Blackboard um, assignment uh, link for, for the web page. There's links out there where you can get what's called the hex number. Okay, so the hex number is a six-digit uh, code that gives you a color in the HTML um, coding. Okay, so for mine, for example, I'm going to be uh, using, uh, you know, you can write these down and use them as you, as you uh, write your web page. So the one I'm going to use is this blue right here. It's going to have four zeros and two Fs. So I'm going to remember that, write that down. Um, that's going to be my background. Um, for my text, I'm going to go ahead and just use black. So I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, six uh, zeros here is going to be the black code for that. Okay, so that's something you need to look up and write down, record for later. Something else that you're going to need, you're going to need two images. So on Google here, uh, since I'm going to be doing accounting, is going to be the subject I'm going to be doing my web page on. Um, I'm, I need to go to Google. You can go to images here, and you can see that there are some pictures here that uh, if you uh, right click on them, and do you know save image as you can go ahead and save those images to your uh, to your page here on your desktop that you created so the page I created is web page so I'm going to go ahead and do uh, instead of download uh, JPG I'm going to go ahead and call this one um, one save 
and then I'm going to get another picture. So I saved one of them. I'm going to get another picture here. I'm going to save image as. I'm going to call this one. I picked two. All righty. So those are the images that I downloaded to my folder. So now in my folder, I have two images, uh, a text document, and um, and then I have my codes for my colors that I'm going to be putting in. Okay. And so we'll go ahead and uh, stop here, and then I'll start again, and, and we'll open up the text document, and I'm going to show you how to start coding.